Hi folks, this is James. I am the unofficial mayor of Cowboy Country. Welcome back to the channel. I am so glad you are here with us. We are at Tarleton State. And uh, it's a smaller school, but uh, it's on the list as far as the top 15 uh, stadiums. So uh, let's uh, get around to the other side and we'll get this thing started. Hey, this is uh, the side that faces the road. Obviously. I don't have a whole lot of daylight left. But, uh... Those aren't necessarily banners. But it does, it does highlight some of the players that obviously have gone on to play in the NFL. really think something like that would be beneficial. I like the amount of, there's a lot of logos around, even like the overhangs there are painted purple. So they've got the school colors. I'm assuming that's like the athletic coach's office, you know, got lots of pictures up on the wall and trying to show the potential recruits I don't know what they're doing. Oh, it's nippy. It's going to be even colder tomorrow night. One end zone's neat, but I think they I see porta potties over there. Oh, here I gotta go around. For those of you who are actually looking forward to me going to um, UTEP, I apologize. It's just the more OU lost, the lower the prices of the tickets were and uh was kind of hoping that uh there'd be a is there an opening down there hold on that lady was friendly <laughs> all right see a lot of times they'll have openings like this in smaller schools all right this is okay Nice traditional scoreboard. That's interesting. I think it looks like you got club and suite on this side. And then what you do is you put the media over there. I like how it's built into the hill like that. Okay. Decent size uh, jumb jumbotron over there. All right. This is... This is artificial turf. Of course, you know, in the summertime, it gets real hot in Texas, so that's mainly the reason why they do that. This really nice family, their daughter's an athlete here, but I don't see any food underneath. Had to ask them a question because I didn't see any concession stands. I was like, where's the concession stands? They're over here. Heck, even the even the porta potties are purple. That's cool. Hopefully, they're better than uh, what was it, Texas State? I mean, they had a, a sticker on the side of it that said "Honey Pot." It's like there ain't no honey in that. <laughs> By the way, while I'm thinking about it, you do have, you know, your other facilities surrounding football they probably have like their groundskeepers here in the corner that way they can take care of the other fields I mean obviously the field inside here is uh, is artificial just because in the summertime it gets real hot okay so let me uh, 
get reset. I bet money these dorms right here are for the athletes. Make it a little bit easier for them to get to and from practice, you know. All right, so this is the opposite side that's not facing the road. Obviously, it's uh, not as nice as the side that faces the highway. But, you know, hey, it's what it is. You know, they, they are a smaller school, but I do like the, the logo. Got tickets. We get that last end zone and then we'll wrap it up. Well, this is interesting. I have like an eating area for the fans. I don't know. I wouldn't want to miss any of the action, but I guess you could come over here if you had like kids or something. Do like the tented area. That's pretty cool. It almost reminds me of Kansas, where they have those uh, couches. Okay, and I believe, oh shoot, I'm gonna have to walk all the way around. That's probably like where the coaches' offices and stuff, that other area was probably for alumni. Let me get reset. Interesting. Part in our progress as we continue to upgrade our facilities. Yeah. Yeah, I have no doubt in my mind that this is probably where the coaches' office are. In the main part of the, on the side that faces the road, that's probably like the. I don't know, either like the athletic, athletic department had or I'm not sure, but this to me looks like what you would want to a recruit to see, like their first thing that they see. Those, those are championships right there. John and Peggy Erickson for your I can't read the writing on there, but yeah, so you're showing off. You know, you got a, a jersey from a former player. Yeah. All right, so let's get back to the car and we'll finish up. Well, folks, uh, we uh, got a short video in before I head up to Bedlam. Uh, tell them to say it's a it's a nice stadium. It is on the top 15 list as far as stadiums here in Texas. Um, I did like the pictures. They weren't necessarily banners per se, but uh, those things were pretty cool. So anyway, uh, get you a video tomorrow of uh, my experience in Norman, and uh, and we'll go from there. So uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit like and subscribe. And I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody who does watch, who does subscribe. I know your time is valuable. And so I hope you have a great day. And as always, go Pokes. Bye.